there will be extra counselors added to Cab County High School this morning. A student was shot and killed earlier this week at a home. CBS 46's Adam Harding is live at uh, Stevenson High School in Stone Mountain. And Adam, that shooting actually happened after a fight at the school, but it didn't happen on the campus. No, it happened at a home less than a mile away from where we are here at Stevenson High School, where this morning the activity is just starting to pick up. About an hour or so from now, students will return to the classroom where, where there will be a crisis team on hand to meet the students. DeKalb Police this morning confirming to us that they have made an arrest in this deadly shooting, but at this point they are not yet releasing the name of the freshman student who is a suspect in this case. Now we should tell you that the victim in all of this is a senior at the high school. Investigators have not yet released that 12th graders name as well. But according to the school district, it was a senior at Stevenson High who was shot and killed allegedly by a freshman student. DeKalb police say they were called out to a home on Lake Waterview yesterday. They found the victim outside unresponsive, suffering from a gunshot wound. The victim was taken to the hospital but later died. The cab school sent us a statement yesterday shortly after the shooting telling us that on Thursday a 12th grade student at Stevenson High School was shot and killed by a 9th grade student also from Stevenson High School. They say this was at the 9th grade student's home. This follows according to district leaders an altercation that took place on Wednesday in the bus lane at the school involving approximately four to five boys. DeKalb County School District Public Safety and the DeKalb County Police are investigating this matter. As we mentioned, a crisis team will be at the school in the morning to provide support to the students and staff. One of the questions is, when will this freshman student go before a judge and will this student be charged as an adult? Questions we have asked DeKalb Police to answer. So far, we have not yet heard back from them this morning, but of course, we'll continue to check in with investigators throughout the day and speak with students and families who are just now starting to arrive to the campus at Stevenson High.